For those of you who are familiar with past groups I've consulted down the European metal line, some of you will remember I gave Votarian a first interaction through eight of their pieces very recently in total. I don't have all the videos currently up yet as I'm filming this. I might at this point. I don't know. I'm not sure when I get around to editing this one through. But Volterian was a great experience. And through Volterian, as this has been the case of many European artists that I've consulted along the collaboration model, I was introduced to Giada Jade Etro through her uh, guest appearance on In a Heartbeat. That song in particular has been growing on me, not just because it's a great metal piece and Federica Lano's vocals are exquisite and Volterian's talents as well speak for themselves, but Giada Jade Etro's accent is incredible to listen to. And again, every subsequent listen I've given it, and I liked it first when I originally heard it, but it's such a rich and unique personality, and I'm, I'm very well attracted to accents, especially among uh, female uh, lead singers in European uh, countries, broadly speaking, not just necessarily of Italy. And I believe it's where Frozen Crown, like Volterian, is from. It's an exquisite first interaction. So when I heard about the attribution with Frozen Crown, I'm like, I'm going to engage this group, and I'm assuming they're going to be a bit like Volterian, maybe in energy, I don't know. I sense the familiarity, not just based on... Giada Etro's presence, or Giada J. Etro, but Federico Mondelli. I didn't know this going into Votarian. This is something I learned after that he is, uh, he's the one of the, I think the lead guitarist actually off of uh, Votarian, and he's also done some background vocals as well. He's in fact married to Giada J. Etro. And he's also, I, I think there's another group as well that he's associated with, if I'm thinking about it, but he works with Frozen Crown too, I believe in the same capacity. So you could say the road was paved like many, in regards to European first interactions. I love going down this route. You know, as a metalhead, it's first genre preference for me, but the European landscape specifically is just wonderful to listen to. And I've had many great interactions with those of you who have been established in that scene for quite a while, and your familiarity, many of you suggested endless names, it seems. I'm still processing in regards to lining up stuff, but I'm, I'm eager to. Again, most of the European stuff I cover on this channel, with very minimal exception, is all first interactions. And you're getting the first impression with me that perhaps, for you, it's a, it's a shared experience. That you're approaching this video not knowing Frozen Crown. Or maybe you have. Maybe you're a long-established fan. But I'm assuming for some of you, because I cover a wide range, partly with this intention that I can utilize other groups that you may be familiar with. So I cover one artist, and hey, I love the artist that I cover, and there's not been a track thus far that I haven't consulted on this channel on a first reaction that I haven't loved, but maybe you come through from an established talent that you're quite familiar with. But along the way, you know, you're like, I I'd love to hear more music that maybe AL's interested in. You consult Frozen Crown, being like, I don't know this name. I hope that in some way my channel can provide routes for you to explore different artists. And today we're looking at Frozen Crown. And I do hope that also pa paving that route, you will come to love these artists in the same way that I have, continually. I'm excited to take this uh, journey with Giada J. Detro. Again, that first introduction was fabulous, and I love being able to broaden out the scope of what I cover on this channel in regards to music. You know, this is an evolving uh, presence here in regard to this particular market, but it's, long, it's been a long ambition of mine, given that art, er, in artistic landscape, and I cover a wide uh, pool of ventures. Music, for me, very much is a first love. It's been so close to me throughout the course of my life. I love having that collaborative exchange of others, you know, through our enjoyment of musical pieces and, and fostering a sense of relationship, even if maybe it's over, you know, over the internet. But at the same point, it's, I don't have as much connection with my personal life when it comes to my music tastes. And through covering many different artists, I've been able to meet so many of you and have a positive interaction that has encouraged me and that I'm not necessarily alone in my, <laughs> in what I tend to gravitate to. No one truly is. We just sometimes have to look a bit deeper than where we would otherwise go. And for me, even just if it's in our personal lives, we have other venues we can take, healthy ones. And as in the course of music, it's a wonderful community building experience. I tend to not like to use that word because it's so overused these days, but that's really what it does for me. It's been great to foster those connections and to perhaps in the process introduce you to many talents like I am myself that I find quite competent and easy replay in my playlist. I listen to European music pretty much all the time, universally now. It, it's hard for the American groups to make it through, though I still have many American groups I love and consult. I am in love with Europe. 
So let's gauge Frozen Crown on a first impression. We're getting a fresh experience together. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the official music video that came alongside the piece. It's a pretty long piece to it, almost uh, five, or one second short of five minutes and 10 seconds. And if you're somebody that's not familiar with my format and how I go producing musical coverage, I like to try and accommodate our um, audience taste the best that I can. So if you're somebody that likes to read along with the narrative of the piece in regards to the lyrical constructions, I will have those provided for you in the video feed and I'll track along with the song as we navigate through it much in the same way that I did Volterian. Maybe that's how some of you are approaching that you heard Volterian and you are also like me being like, who is this Giada J. Detro lady? She's fabulous. She's apparently too, fun fact, she's a dentist as well. <laughs> so as she sings, I'm sure we get a wonderful presentation of idealized clean teeth. <laughs> I know, I'm jealous. My teeth are so stained and filthy. It's all the coffee and tea I drink. Anyway, never ending. I I'm sure she'd have some choice words to say to me, though in a very pleasant accent. <laughs> if I were to consult her in the uh, doctor's or dentist's office. Anyway, going to the song now, never ending. Hey, I'm going to move over the lyrics so I can read them too as we proceed through the piece. Okay, here we go. Let's gauge this. First introduction of Frozen Crown. Oh, nice. I love it. Great riffs. Wonderful pacing, got some head banging on, it's great. Wonderful doorway in. <laughs> it's jiving, I like it. As rich in personality as Volturian. Wonderful basis here. I'm assuming she's gonna start singing in a bit. Oh, I love that voice. Even better here. Wow. Oh, wonderful. Her note sustaining is very impressive. Wonderful pacing too in the chorus, it's a bit unique. That's wonderful. In some parts, it's kind of like, it's timed accordingly. I can hear the clear uh, measure structure, but it still feels it's a bit uneven in presence. I like that variety. Like I've said many times, I love Europe. Even if it does put me in a more unique space with regards to groups I listen to, where most people in my circles are not familiar. This is the type of talent I'm introduced to, and it's just such a fun experience. Back to the frenetic rift. Connection points to the first interlude. Is that a translucent drum set? I haven't seen many of those. I love that blue tint. That's wonderful too, especially on the background. I 
I mean, it's probably a weird detail to pick out. I've just never... Usually it's like a solid frame and a color, it, it, or usually like white or black or something like that. This is... Fun! And, and see again how it's blended in the visual side is... Even if it's mostly a performance video, it's just fun to watch. Oh, I love this. It's so good. <laughs> Get some electronic beats in there too. It's very similar to Volturian. I think it's just a little more aggressive though. I love Volturian all the same, but this is... It's distinct in its own right. Good finish to it just drops off of the last chorus. So much personality to that. I mean, again, this is what I commonly find in Europe and Italy, even more specifically. I've only I I think Frozen Crown is from Italy. I'm pretty sure on that point. I might be wrong, but I, I thought on yeah, they're an Italian power metal band. It's quite beautiful to listen to. I mean, they haven't been around for that long. I guess they started in 2017, so they've been around for a good number of years, but still. Maybe in comparison to the other groups I've engaged with, they're a, a bit younger in their tenure, but equally as impressive. That <sighs> Traditional aggressive metal, I love that. And much like Federico Lana, Giada Jade Etro. Again, it's that accent. It just gives it such a unique flair to her voice. Even more, hey, I love Federica Lana. I thought she was beautiful. And to give credit, I guess, you know, like I have with Votarian, if it had not been for Mortemia through Federica Lana's collaboration, I probably would have never heard of uh, Frozen Crown until now. See, this is what I love about Europe, and especially if you haven't heard the speech before, there's, um, if you look in the collaborative model that's often utilized in many of their artists, and they bring on some guest artists from another band, it's this constant spiral of new names. You start with one, and then you find out about all these other connection points. It, this is like some of the strongest networking that I've seen in regards to the music lineup library. I mean, in case of America, there's usually some overlap as well, but... And there are pathways to engage with other groups on collaborative uh, tracks, but this has been a common thing with Europe. Especially amid my journey of Volturian. This is how I came to Frozen Crown, through Mortemia in the beginning. That's what taught me about Federica Lana, existing as a wonderful singer. And then I found out about Volturian, and now through the collaboration of In a Heartbeat with uh, Giada J. Etro, Frozen Crown. I love this model that I've utilized in many ways to engage with new talents. And Frozen Crown is... Wonderful. Great visualizer, too. I love wintertime scenes. That easily appealed to me. And again, I, I know it's a strange detail to pick out, probably, but I haven't seen a translucent drum set. Certainly not with a blue tone. That's a bit different. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, unique personality. And like I was saying to Federica Lana, Giada J. Detra's accent is instantly attractive. And it's very well utilized as well. Just like Federica sometimes uses her voice, you can hear it in some of their songs, there's an intentional, uh, uh, methodical approach she takes in how she sings, where you can sometimes hear that accent intersect, and it's quite beautiful. It, with um, Giada's, it's a, it's a little more dominant, I think, in the way that it, you hear her speak, but it, it's just so potent. And I look for those types of individualized traits because I do tend to listen to a lot of metal, especially within Europe. So perhaps on many uh, um, components and traits you could analyze, there's a lot of existent overlap. It's the vocals that immediately isolate this band for me. It's a very impressive song, easy to engage with, and I cannot wait to hear more. That's a wonderful first introduction of Never Ending. What are your guys' thoughts on the piece? I'm assuming for some of you this will be a first introduction, but maybe I'll meet some of you uh, Frozen Crown fans I haven't met yet through other artistic ventures. You know, again, like I said, I love being able to foster a sense of connection through music coverage, especially within the European landscape, and it's been so great to meet many of you along the um, European metal flavor or favor line, because I don't have these connection points in my personal life. But it's also great, and I can manage this, and I hope in some capacity that I can, to foster new connections with... Un uh, unintroduced listeners 
who come in, you know, perhaps seeing the name of a group and going, I've never engaged with this artist before. But now that you've heard them, you're madly in love, like I've been. I'd love to hear what angle you come from down below, should you wish to disclose your perspective. Some of you are probably taking this journey with me in terms of a fresh introduction. This is a very much a first uh, engagement with Frozen Crown. I'm excited to move forward. I've got another track currently lined up, and actually many more planned, but currently I'm gonna, I have a never, just one more at the moment. Um, I'll get to those other ones eventually in terms of getting closer to what's released a little closer to now, because I'm still kind of working my way through the past a bit. I think, when did this track release? Like 2020 or something like that, or 2019? Anyway, I forget exactly when it was. But next, I believe, is, uh, which one? In the Dark. That's also off the album Crowned and Frost, which did come out in 2019. So, I'll be back soon for that, if you want to continue the journey with me, as well as many of their other works uh, in the videos coming with Frozen Crown. But as a first engagement piece, I had a wonderful time. Like I do, routinely in Europe. <laughs> Within European metal, it's a, a never-ending fun experience, it seems. But Frozen Crown is another fabulous addition to my library. I, I'm great to, uh, grateful to listen to more of their music. That was a beautiful piece to engage with. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.